What made you reach out? It is a time for Hollywood to hear this story, especially because a lot of people are locked in non-disclosures and they're not able to talk and protect themselves. It's worth me to room yo, we back with another one. Yo, Tasha K is being sued by Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart getting the litigus uh, after former assistant uh, Miasha or Misha Shape did a tell-all interview about him on the YouTube host, which is very interesting to me because Tasha K uh, isn't the person who said it. So how can you sue somebody that's not really saying it? Like, I mean, I understand the defamation of character and all this other bull stuff, but it's like the assistant is the one that came out and said that. Like, why people always kind of attack her and not the person that's kind of saying this? You see what I'm saying? Like, all she did was just provide a platform for them to speak. You know what I'm saying? But you feel some type of way because she's exposing your truth, which is really, uh, which, which is your truth, but you're really lying to your wife. You see what I'm saying? Kevin Hart has been caught numerous, numerous times cheating on his wife and doing other things with both, both genders. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Hart literally has been exposed a lot, but yet he targets Tasha K because I guess Tasha K is so sued. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe because she's not really tied into their industry. But in this recent chat, right, with the, uh, I guess LA Times is really showing about the whole entire situation, talking about in the recent conversation between Shakes and um, the Hart, uh, Kevin Hart, right, uh, or about Kevin Hart, uh, and how he cheated on his, on his wife several times, right? And they had gotten a woman pregnant and had a gambling problem at the same time. So they're talking about the stuff Kevin Hart was doing behind the scenes, you know, he tried to pretend like he's, you know, he's a family guy. He's always posting pictures of his family, laughing, trying to be positive, gym motivations, all of this stuff to kind of keep up his image. But there's always a darker side to Hollywood than, than they try to show the world, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's up for you to perceive, you know what I'm saying? It's up for you to come to the conclusion. Is it true? Is it not? Well, I mean, the fact that they get so hurt and that they have to file a lawsuit, um, that's how, that should let you know that it, 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 it poked the bear, right? You know what I'm saying? It, it hit a soft spot. But it's really interesting because that's his former assistant. I don't understand how you don't attack the assistant and not Tasha K. But apparently in Los Angeles County Superior Court, right, Hart sued Shake. Oh, okay, apparently he did sue Shake. So he sued, he sued both of them. But that's what I'm saying. So how are you going to sue Tasha? I don't, I don't know how you're going to add the person who's interviewing the person into the lawsuit. It just, for me, that's, that's an easy beat for Tasha K. Like, I'm not even the one that said it. You know what I'm saying? So, Shakes is the one that, to me, is, should be held accountable. Um, and Tasha K's legal name is, of course, Latasha Kebe, right? Shout out Kebe because, you know, my last name is K-A-B-A. So, it's like Kaba, Kebe. It's like the same thing for me. So, we modeling people. You know what I'm saying? So, it gets real deep. Uh, so, my support for Tasha K is like 190. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else get like, a, like 80, you know, 70 or something. But Kebe's company and Kebe's studio, LLC, was filed for defamation and civil extortion, breach of contract, invasion of privacy, all of this stuff. So maybe the the, the Shakes girl maybe signed a non-disclosure agreement and maybe it was in her contract to never talk about stuff like this. So maybe that's why he's attacking her. You see what I'm saying? But Shakes said a lot of stuff and like kind of talked about how he basically was had an office with a shower in it just so he can be in the shower. And before he gets to his wife, you know what I'm saying? So it, I think a lot of times there's a whole bunch of videos of, of him kind of <laughs> coming out. Of, like, I don't know. Like, it's just weird. To me, it's just we, we've kind of heard this story before in terms of uh, Kevin Hart. So it's like not far fetched. And that's why I don't understand how you can get a lawsuit. And we kind of, I think you've already been exposed multiple times with doing this. Like, he has a, a habit of doing this. You know, when Kevin Hart get drunk, he had a wild, bro. Remember him in the Super Bowl? Man, Kevin Hart is crazy. So apparently Hart is also alleging that someone affiliated with Kevin informed Hart's representative on this whole entire thing. So they're saying there was a snake or rat in Kevin's like, company. Like his whole like secret uh, TMZ company. It's like low-key the black TMZ. That's why I low-key rock with it. It's like a new age TMZ, 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 right? TMZ, and it's just ridiculous. But for me, like, for me, it's like, if you if you got nothing to hide, you know, then you wouldn't be the one that's getting attacked, you know, or talked about. But you clearly have stuff to hide, just like Will Smith has stuff to hide. Like, both of the assistants seen a lot of stuff. Seen like these funny cats. <laughs> these funny cats, like, it funny. <laughs> I don't know, bro. But this is definitely, to me, like some um, something that, that Kevin Hart is going to have to live with, you know, especially if it destroys his family um, and they break up and all of this stuff and get a divorce. But to me, like, hey, what, what happens in the darkness is always going to come to light somehow, some way. I mean, we got cameras that have light on it 
I mean, look, when you in the dark, you got to put on that camera light, right? You got to see what's in that. So next thing you know, you start seeing things moving. So, I mean, if this assistant is doing this, how can you attack somebody who's just putting them on the platform to have a conversation? How do we know that they're supposed to, how do we know that, how can we be held accountable for what somebody else is saying? That's just interest. But you're going to, of course, sue their company. I think heavy company will win because it's an easy, it's an easy to me, it's easy to beat that. You know what I'm saying? Look, I, I just put this person on the platform to have a conversation. How am I supposed to be held accountable for what they're saying? You know, my role is just to be an interviewer and just interview. If you got if you got non-disclosure agreements that are signed, how are we supposed to know that? You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, to me, like, to me, like, how, how can we just be held accountable? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. But I feel like just adding them on it just made it viral enough. And I think that's really what it is because he just felt like because... The video, I guess, went viral because, you know, of course, it's Kevin Hart. Um, Tosh K is Tosh K. These are very high platforms of people. Uh, and they got a lot of, like, you know, fans and interests and stuff like that. Uh, but for me, Kevin Hart, if it's not real, then, you know, why don't you just throw it underneath the rug? But for me, if it's real, I'm taking it to court. And that's what you're doing. So you're taking it to court. So I guess you could prove to your wife that you're not cheating. But, I mean, let's keep it a bean. If you have an office with a shower in it, and you come back and you, <laughs> well, I guess his excuse is probably going to be, oh, he'd be working out and stuff like that, right? So, you know, they always working out and stuff. So that's always the the joke. You got to say you at the gym when you really, <laughs> when you really cheat. But that's just me making the joke of all. But this is very a serious situation, um, very much a serious situation. Um, and Kevin Hart, to me, um, he's a great, funny dude, you know, all of this stuff. But, you know, when you sign these vows and all of this stuff, you got to, be with your partner 100%. And I feel like if you're 100% faithful, nobody can even sniff that you cheating. You know what I'm saying? But if you've been caught before and done it multiple times and you're super Hollywood and you're Kevin Hart, so it just doesn't sound far-fetched. Um, but I think for maybe the sake of his children or something like that, I think that's why he's trying to stay faced and trying to make sure his name is clean. And I guess Kevin Hart don't want any more stress on his name, I guess. I don't know. But the signs are pointing to this all could be true. This all could be true. Let me know what you guys think. Cause to me, the, to me, about seventy five percent of what Shake said in that interview uh, is pretty true. You can you can check that interview out uh, in the description. I'm gonna leave it. Uh, Tasha K, a little shout out. You know what I'm saying? Because she does great interviews. And uh, to me, like, like she gets all the juice that nobody else be getting. I'm like, bro, what, what are y'all doing? Y'all got these people. Y'all don't even get all the juice of these celebrities that be doing evil stuff. And we we gotta feel like we looking up to these people. Right? That's what the whole world do. They look up to these people. So let's show how imperfect they are. Let's show that they're no worse than you, if not worse than you, way worse than you probably. Like you probably a saint compared to the, <laughs> and you could be, you could have done the worst, but you could, you probably a saint compared to them celebrities. So now they getting all the juice and exposing these people because it's a whole group of them. And it's a whole group of them that do things because they have a lot of money compared to the average human being that's in the world. You know what I'm saying? It's like what, 9 billion, 8 billion people? Like, bruh, the 1% of these people is like super duper duper wealth. And they all be in a, a house together wearing all white, hugging up on each other, man. Like, these people are close. So, what really goes on behind the scene? To me, Diddy, Kevin Hart, Jay-Z, like, all these, they, they all kind of sound the same, right? A little bit. Like, they, they gonna hang out. They has been pictures together with both of them, all three of them, or two of them with each other, hanging out. Kevin Hart and, and Diddy is like... To me, they buddy buddies. <laughs> when Kevin Hart was trying to make it, bro, he was trying to make it. So I'm looking at it on one side and I'm looking at the other side. I mean, I just don't think he was just cheating with women. Uh, that's like, like you can't sue me. That's to me a legend because that's the key word, I guess, that we have to always use is allegedly because we can't prove none of this. But my intuition says Kevin Hart been doing this. <laughs> Kevin Hart been doing this. He just typed that. Tasha K said it. You know what I'm saying? He'd rather the wife just find out and then it gets up on TMZ or maybe they just break up. And then, you know what I'm saying? But he's just mad that somebody else says it and it's an assistant that he probably trusts. You know, he got like a group of four dudes or three dudes that he trusts, 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 trusts. And they know everything. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. If it's not real, Kevin Hart, then why take it to try? Well, I guess take it to try, right? Take it to try. Let's see if you win, right? Um, but I don't know how. I don't know how this lawsuit is gonna work. I don't know if it's a lot like the Cardi B situation. Um, but I honestly think the Kebe company and Tasha K's company, I feel like they will win it if if because it just doesn't make any sense to for them to be held accountable. It's just the interview. You know what I'm saying? And this her job to be a journalist. It's like when you go out to Afghanistan and the war or um, you go out to Palestine, you have to say Palestine and cover about the, the, uh, 
the Israelis killing all the Palestinian children. I mean, you could just shed the light on that. Like, how can I be held accountable when I'm having an interview with a Palestinian talking about what the Israelis are doing? You see what I'm saying? Now I'm held accountable. What? I'm just being a journalist. Like on CNN, they go up there and they do the same thing. So y'all gonna sue CNN? So that's what's interesting to me. I just don't, I feel like, I feel like because she's a black woman, she's an extremely easy target for Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? They always try to do black women dirty. Look at Taraji P. Henson crying. You know what I'm saying? Look at what they've done to all the actors and actresses that we love. You see what I'm saying? They, especially the black women in the the industry, I feel like they've done them the most wrong. You see what I'm saying? They stereotype them the most. So they're stereotyping Tasha K. So they feel like, all right, we can attack this lady, but they don't realize that, they don't realize that she Malian, bro. She got Malian people uh, around her, bro. So they don't know what type of bloodline they messing with. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I think she's gonna win this, and I don't think she's she ain't gotta pay nothing to nobody, even Cardi B. I feel like I feel like she's gonna um, win every single thing, even um even even when y'all say that, all right, she gotta pay Tosh, uh, Cardi B all of this stuff, right? I still feel like she's gonna win that. Like I just feel like she don't have to. <laughs> like, I just feel like she's not gonna. I, I don't feel like she has to. You guys can let me know. I feel like she's not wrong about any of this or wrong for doing any of the stuff that she's doing. TMZ has been doing this for literally decades. Literally, so many companies has made names off of doing what she's doing. Uh, she's just doing it way better. Um, and I think they hate it. I think they really do hate it because it's a black woman that's not controlled by a white man. Because, you know, Underneath every black woman that's super duper successful, they have to be controlled by the white man a little bit. Tasha K is the anomaly. And, you know, I'm just keeping it a bean. Y'all gonna say that I'm whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just keeping it a bean. To me, Kevin Hart, you sold your soul, you getting exposed. (laughs) So, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys are saying. Peace.